Hello YouTube and I am doing a vlog dedicated just to clutch this upshifting today. Just going to show you the way that I do it. I'm not saying it's the right way but it's the way that works for me. So I'm in first, clutch hand is the one on the left on a bike. For any bike noobs or anyone that wasn't sure. So, clutch hand, normally to change gear, clutch in, and your gear lever's down on the left foot. What I'm going to do as we're going along, I'm just going to put a little bit of pressure on my left foot. I'm already in first, so to go into second, I just need to click up a little bit. And hopefully, with the camera angle, you'll be able to see what my left hand's doing. I'm just putting a little bit of pressure on at the moment. Not enough to slick into gear or into neutral, but enough positive pressure when I roll off the throttle will let the gear just seamlessly go in. Here we go. So keep accelerating, keep accelerating, roll off and a little bit of pressure. And again, a little bit of pressure. And at no point have I used the clutch look, see? You can also with a bit of technique go down the gears and I'll try and demonstrate that now again I'm going to accelerate slightly here we go look see no hand and just a little bit of gentle pressure again on the shift lever there are benefits you can change gear a lot quicker without using the clutch so first up to second and onwards then even if you're short shifting don't try and slick into the next gear while the engine's still under load because you will damage the gear cogs quite a lot of traffic on the road today not too sure why So again, left hand is off the uh, off the clutch, accelerate and just roll it, roll off the throttle with a little bit of positive pressure. Some bikes come with gear shifters in which the engine will basically cut the throttle for you so you don't even need to roll off the throttle. Okay, two cut, well, a car and myself then moved over for this guy and he still wasn't paying attention. Sunday drivers, I suppose. Are you going to give us some room to come past here? you want. Again, no hands and up and down. That biker probably thought I was waving at him then as well. So when I'm on the bike as well, I try and keep every input as smooth as I can. What the fuck are you doing? Another knobhead. So yep, every input, and I was indicating the whole way through there by the way. Try and keep every input as smooth as possible because you don't want to upset the balance of the bike. The bike responds better if you keep it nice and smooth, keep the balance, the weight balance and the weight transfer nice and smooth. So that's when things will start to go airy is when you're forcing it to make quick, rapid changes. So what are the advantages then of using a, a clutchless shift? Well, you're not engaging the clutch plates, so there's wear and tear. And actually, it's quicker to change gear. The downside is it's not very smooth, so it's not something I'd tend to do if I've got my other half on the back or a pillion. And I'm signed up to do my first ever parachute jump. Not parachute jump even, skydive. And I'm signed up now, by the way, good news. Something I've always wanted to do. I've signed up for my first charity skydive. So I might even, if I enjoy it, try and do the week's course at Western on the Green, which I can do for free. 
it's something I've always wanted to do and I've not done a lot in the last two two to three years not as much as I've done in the past skiing and surfing and different experts so I'm really looking forward to it if I'm honest I used to be a bit of an adrenaline junkie a bit of risk get the heart pumping Unfortunately though, you can't record your own video. This annoys me actually. So you're not allowed to take your own GoPro. You're not allowed to take your own sports camera, action camera, phone, photos, camera, whatever. You're not allowed to take it. Instead, you've got to pay a hundred pounds for someone else to dive with you and take your video or photo. I'm not exactly gonna sit there with a selfie stick skydiving, but what is the harm in someone just attaching a camera to their chest or shoulder or carrying a, a sports camera I mean you're strapped to someone else for God's sake you're not gonna get in the way are you anyway that's it for today I'm gonna be listening to my new C6 Steve album on the way home so there will be no vlog for the return journey hopefully that's helped if it has just drop us a, a like or even subscribe if you fancy This, com this corner is quite fun, but not when they've got a speed camera just there that records registration. And probably a crew room full of metropolitan police officers as well. I think I'll just behave a little bit here. Or not.